I mean, this whole topic goes right into a discussion oh, that yeah. was on Brand Man Network, right? Now, for those of y'all who don't know what Brand Man Network is, it's our free space, got courses. You, you think you like the podcast? If you talk about step-by-step information, they drive you where you need to go so you can just reference. We have free courses, but we also have this space where people can talk and we give a lot of advice and you talk with our team personally. So the question was, am I draining my audience, right? Am I draining my audience as an artist? And Eddie Harp, shout out to you, said, I know for me personally, I've always been worried that I was draining my audience by putting out content that feels rehashed or not original or varied enough. Remember that it takes more than six to eight exposures to your song or content before someone takes the chance to listen with the way algorithms work, especially with short term content. Some people might not get to see it until you post the 10th or 20th variation of promo for the same song. Be patient and remember the long game. You're creating a world and lore for new fans to step into and immerse themselves in. Mm -hmm. Man. Beautiful, Beautiful, Eddie. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's touched on so many things here. And I want to just break down the different elements of it. Right. So let's start here. At this point, he says, he says, remember that it takes more than six to eight exposure to your song or content before someone takes a chance to listen. Yep. All right. And remember when I first saw this post, I was like, yeah, it's crazy because that goes along that same statistic that you get for sales calls, mm-hmm. making a sales call six to eight points of contact before you actually have true contact when they'll answer the phone Mm -hmm. or they give you reply on email. So they might see you in an ad. They might see that you tweet them. They might see your first email. They might see your second email like in their inbox, Mm -hmm. right? But they might not click it. So they've been exposed, but they haven't clicked it to truly consume. Or you have people literally just missing every single one, right? So there's a reason that you want to hit people up multiple times. And this is no different than hitting people up, right? Yeah. You're online. Yo, I'm posting this. I'm posting this. I'm posting this. I'm posting this. And how many times have you seen a video online and you didn't watch it that time? Yeah. You might have saved it and said, I'm going to watch it later. Or sometimes I'll just be like, I'm going to look it up. So I remember the title. There's so mm. many versions of I'm not watching it now. I do want to watch it later. Yeah. But if it doesn't pop up again, it gets distant. And more and more distant because I get berated with new content. Yeah. But if I see that thing again, oh, yeah, I did want to watch that video. And a lot of times, let's just say YouTube, it's YouTube's algorithm saying, hey, bro, like, you still acting like you want to watch this video based on the stuff that you're watching. Come on, watch this thing. (laughs) But you can create that same effect yourself by posting, posting, posting. So that stat alone is something that artists really need to dig into and just follow, like, just black out, like, Six to eight, that's how much it's going to take. And you might not do it with everything, but like we just saw with Piff and Simone, when we were talking about earlier in the episode, if it's something that you know, like this is that thing, this should move, give it another try. Yeah, especially the response to the the lower performing pieces overall positive right oh yes yeah you know point because it's it's so many factors that can go into it like we already touched on cultural sometimes you just post at the wrong time of the day right like you pick Mm -hmm. the wrong part of like it's so many things that go into it that i always feel like like you were saying if you truly feel like the song is the one then you have to give it at least like I don't know if I could put a number on it, but I would say at least like 30 to 50 pieces of content before you truly say, like, okay, I, pu- I put this up 50 times and people still are not fucking with it. Okay, it's the music. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> most of the time, in those scenarios, it's the content, right? And like, yeah. so there'll be artists who will give up at content number three, content piece number three, thinking the song is terrible. And it's like, no, your your content skills were maybe trash and then get it yep. the, the, the uh, eyes it deserved. Um, or like, you know, the headline was off, so it didn't keep people's attention long enough. Like, there's so many little pieces that could be the reason of why I didn't take off that, mm-hmm. like, you really do need that many at-bats before you can truly say, nah, it was the music. You know what I'm saying? That, that's kind of holding people back. And I, I like acquainting it to the sales call, because I don't think a, enough artists think of fan conversion like sales, right? And it, really, it truly is a numbers game, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, you put up a thousand shots, bro, some of them going to hit, you know? Some got to hit, bro. Ass- assuming certain quality things and, 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 you know, entertainment value and things like that. But it really is a numbers game, man. It's like, how many times can you keep micro inching towards getting this person to fuck with you, right? 
And there are plenty yeah. of artists that I've come across where it, it took a lot of pieces of content before I finally broke and converted, right? Uh, hey, yeah. but you broke. Yeah, and I broke. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, man, like, okay, like, like you said, imagine if it took me post number nine to give them a chance, but they stopped at post number three. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wouldn't even be here. And who knows how many other people wouldn't even have been there in the pipeline. So, like, I don't know, man. I, I, it's one of those things that I feel like we have personally been fighting hard for for a very long time. Right. And I'm glad to see the narrative is starting to kind of trickle out there. And, and, you know, I don't, I still don't think there are enough examples. It's not enough. Yeah. But, I mean, we have these clear anecdotes. Hopefully, this clip, the two clips that we'll probably chop up from this, yeah. really help people understand, like, visually, you can see the difference just from posting more than one time. Yeah. Because Piff also talked about the algorithm. You know, yeah, Eddie yeah. mentioned the algorithm. So what does the algorithm mean? You talked about the For You page, right? Yeah. So on TikTok, especially of all platforms, this is extremely meaningful. On TikTok, you can have a thousand people in a bucket, right? But your content starts in miniature buckets and grows out, yeah. right? And shows to more and more people. So let's just say there's a thousand people on the platform of TikTok in your niche, TikTok might show it to 500 people, right? And then it might show another post to 200 people that have zero overlap with those first 500 people. Yeah. Or half of those people might be overlap, right? You got like 100 that have already watched and then 100 that didn't watch. So every time you post, it's not even the same people that are seeing it yeah. on a platform like TikTok. People are completely unaware, let alone, like you said, them um, however many times that you might have posted. So the algorithm works that way. But then that's actually a negative thing when you think about it because it's like, dang, well, people, if I'm only getting a whole bunch of one-offs, I'm missing out on that consistent content contact that six to eight times people have to see me. So now you really can go hard. Yeah, like yeah. Simone Talese where she posted like 40 times because some of these people have never seen this before. And then by the 10th time, I had some people who've seen this once, some people who have seen it three times, some people who have seen it 10 times, right? Yeah. You're constantly getting this overlap, but it's never 100%. So the way the algorithm works is nowhere near the OG Instagram chronological order way of things where time, nine times out of 10, only people who follow you are going to see it, but they're going to see it on their feed. So they'll damn near see probably 80% of the, your post. Mm -hmm. That day is far gone. It's not even Instagram anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So look, the algorithms, the way they are set up, there are good reasons that you will not, that you can post things more than one time and not have anything to worry about, let alone the fact that most people need to see it uh, more than once. The last thing um, for this that I want to touch on, though, that Eddie mentioned was variation. He used the word variation. And this is like one of the first YouTube videos I remember making like years ago. And the whole concept was the way variation prevents the concept of spam. Like people mm -hmm. feel like they're yeah. spamming when you're being yeah. lazy. And it's the exact same thing again and again and again and again. But when you create a variation, whether it's a new headline, whether you introduce a slightly different part of the song first, maybe one's vertical, maybe one's horizontal, there's color changes. It's a new video, same song, right? A new meme that you relate to the song. As you change all these different elements and things vary, it creates a new type of entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you're entertaining people with the same thing from different directions, how there's like multiple angles to the same joke, yeah. right? That creates that concept and people begin to appreciate it because they see that you're continuing to change things up and it becomes a joke because they see what you're doing, like the graduation. Oh, I saw he did this and he did this and he's doing different things for the same thing. So that oftentimes is appreciated versus, oh, he just told me the same thing the exact same way every single time. I'm going to tune that out because I already consumed that. Yeah. There's nothing else new for me. But if I see that new thing, I'm already familiar with the first thing that occurred. So now I now focus on the new thing that you did. And that's going to allow me to appreciate your creativity. So it's just about entertaining people at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, that's such a good point, bro. Because it's like, I think we get so wrapped up on the the video content itself and being like, oh, like this is the content. But the overall package is really the content. So yes. even, even just changing out 100%. the headline technically makes it a new piece of content, right? Yep. Like you said, there's a new joke I have to process. There's a new path you're kind of taking me down. It's a good ass point. 
Yeah. That's a good ass point. Yeah, man. So, look, I mean, I think if y'all don't get what we said today, <laughs> bro, if y'all can't become comfortable with posting the same piece of content multiple times, just changing things to help it perform better, or even the same piece of content at different times because maybe it just hit wrong that day, that time and culture, whatever was going on. Look, I don't know what to do. How we could convince y'all any more than what's already been said. Yeah, bro, it's a time saver. It's a budget saver. And yes. nothing else. Nothing else. Look at it like a training exercise. Because most of you I hate to be, you know, that guy. But most of you probably suck at making headlines and copy and stuff. And this is the perfect way to, to yes. perfect it, right? Keep trying. Keep throwing some at-bats. And also, I think it scratches that itch that artists have of uh, multiple creative ideas where it's like, hey, I have – Yep. 20 different ideas for this post. Which one should I do? All of them. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one of them. Because yes. I can't tell you if you're going to be right or which one's going to be right or wrong. Sean can't tell you. You can't say, bro. Just post all of it. Right. Nobody knows for 100% sure. Yeah. Right. Now, 